can't see the number, man. Those gold numbers are hard to see. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I mean, gee whiz. Especially with my eyesight. You know? Well, I'm going to take Chris's glasses over here. <laughs> I really need to steal them because I yeah. I've, I've lost mine. That ball is going to be kicked down there. Blue. Having trouble yep. hanging on there. Yep. Oh, nice side cut and not much going for Pioneer on that kickoff. Was that Gluth or Robinson? On that return? Yeah. It wasn't Robinson. Yeah, I think it was Gluth. No, it was Mersh. Bo Mersh. Oh. Speaking of Bo Mersh, man, Bo Mersh has been on fire. He has been on fire. That's a kid we need to talk about a little bit. He has very much impressed myself and, you know, a lot of, oh, yeah. a lot of people. Yeah, he has done a nice job. He's made some nice cuts. We, we saw him run two 68-yard touchdowns here against uh, Knox. And, man, he, he looked tough getting the ball more often. I will say this. Coming out of that huddle right there, Pioneer looks uh, ready to go. Um, not really lethargic like they were last week a little bit. Here's a snap to Caleb Sweet. He's going to hand off. And there Brock goes Brock Robinson Brock. gets He's the gone. outside. He He's got uh, one man to beat, and he can't uh, do it. Good job there. Great run by Brock Robinson. He's uh, able to get to the right 49. Side. Nice job by Brock Robinson. Well, I think that's a 49. There's no numbers on the <laughs> Well, no, that's not the 49. Did you see that pickup speed? Yeah. Goodness gracious. And, and that's why they moved him to that fullback spot, because he can make that cut and burst and get outside. Nice start for Pioneer. Yeah, I think they needed to do that. Set the tone uh, with that aggressiveness. Um, so, very good job. This time they put Bo Mersh in lot. <laughs> Mersh, or no, that's Caden that's Hill. Caden Excuse Hill. me, Caden Hill, and he doesn't get anywhere. Nice tackle there by Judson. And, folks, if we can't call these guys' names and numbers, it's hard, really hard to see from up here. But that was Connor Benson, I believe, number 22 in on the tackle. Might have got a yard on that carry. So the senior meal was last night, and, uh, you know, I, I asked several of the players if they were ready for tonight, and not one of them said they weren't. <laughs> said they weren't? I said none of them said they oh. weren't. <laughs> I said not one. Oh, not one. Weren't. Well, yeah, you got to be ready. Senior night, man. It's a handoff there. Right up the middle. Robinson bangs forward for about five, five maybe yeah, four. about five yards. Good run by Brock Robinson, another senior. A kid that's so, had a great career here at Pioneer. Yeah, and you were saying uh, North Judson um, likes to throw the ball? Uh, they're more of a running team. That they will throw. They've got a nice quarterback that can put the ball in the air. They've had a lot of interceptions this year, though. So in this kind of weather, you might. Look, there's a good hand off the Robinson. Look at his legs steps. just turning and burning. Nice job. Robinson will pick up that first down. He, he's amped. Miller leading that charge with a blocking downfield. <laughs> Scotty Dondro taking some pictures down there. He takes uh, <laughs> like some great photos. Uh, I, Did you want to finish your thought there? I don't even know what it was. <laughs> yeah, he does. Uh, him, and, him and his dad, Bud, do a great job. They are the official photographers for Pioneer Sports, and it's, it's fun to see that stuff on Facebook. And so, I, I think Pioneer's going to be doing this uh, pretty much the whole game, is just yeah. keep drubbing it in there. There you go. Robinson banging forward. Five yards in a cloud of dust for Brock Robinson. And, you know, from up here, you didn't know if he was even going to get maybe one or two. Yeah, he does such a great job of sidestepping tackles. It's It's, you know, that's a skill that you don't, you just can't teach. It's all instincts. It's sight, what you see out there. He's got good vision when he runs. Second and five, nine oh three on the clock. No score here in the first quarter yet. There's another handoff to Robinson. He's squeezing through there, and he almost got a first down. I don't know about you, but those uh, fireworks were nice. To, that was neat, huh? Nice to see before the game. Over there at Henry Field. So third and two for Pioneer. I could see a uh, sweep play here to Caden Hill on this short you, side of the field. Sweep or sweet? Sweep. <laughs> there it is. There's Caden. Yep, there's Caden Hill. He sidesteps, jumps over a tackle, Again. pick up in the first down. I don't think he's had a um, 
where he's been tackled, Caden, this year, where he has went backwards. No, he does a great job of, well, he's six, you know, six one, and he has a good lean to him when he carries with the ball. It. Lean with it. Rock <laughs> with it. <laughs> yeah. it we got to stop, man. <laughs> it's got to stop. What yard line are we on? We are sitting on the 31. Sweet. Puts a man in motion. That's Hill. This time it's going to be handoff to Robinson. Robinson again. Again, he oh, slips oh, a tackle. Oh, great and he great will run be, there. Let's see where they mark that at. That might be a first down. Oh, it's got to be a first down. Hey, Whoa. It's just short. Oh, are they moving? Yep, just short. Wow. Maybe uh, six inches from the first down, so a nine-yard run for Brock Robinson. Uh, they're going to say, let's measure this bad boy, I think. Yeah. Yep. Good, good call on that front. <laughs> so you glad to be back in the, at the helm up here? Oh, yeah. Yep. I was excited about this one yeah, this me week, too. man. I, I know this is going to be a close game. Uh, John Harrell predicts 21-24 with the Panther win. Um with the weather, you know, with the the condition of the field. We were talking about this earlier, too. If it rains any more tonight, this field will be, Panther first will be junk next week in sectionals yeah. against the Wabash Apaches, who I've been been doing a little chatter to the boys over there. I'm from Wabash, or I live in Wabash and talk to a little smack, you know. What are they saying? Hey, they know they're not good. <laughs> <laughs> but but they play on a turf field, so they're going to come over here and uh, get a rude awakening yeah. real quick. Slipping and sliding. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Caleb Sweet looks a, a lot more comfortable. Oh, man, he looks like a quarterback. Yeah. Man, he looks like a quarterback. There's a handoff again to Robinson. He bangs around. He slips another tackle. He's man, pinballing and yep, just moving forward. Three, maybe four yards on the carry. Yeah, sweet. The only thing I wish they would switch his number, man. The 40 just doesn't look like the quarterback number. Hey, he's he's setting a, a, a new tone. Yeah. <laughs> well, you never know when he you might want go, the back, traditional, go like, back to tight end. Yeah, you want the traditional, like, number four or number yeah, three. Yeah, something, so a small number. Or 16. Yeah, Montana. So sweet under center, second and seven. He puts a man in motion. There's Guess another handoff. Yes, they Brock Let's Robinson go. and look he, at that. He's got a few more yards. Miller put you know driving um, the defender all the way to the sidelines. So a good job by Pioneer, just moving the ball. They're going to want to just eat up clock. So a three-yard carry for Brock Robinson. Yeah, they the Panthers have definitely came to play. There it is, Robinson sidesteps. He's going to pick up him, that first down. <laughs> Boy, buried his shoulder, oh, dropped man. his shoulder, and just good job by Robinson. Went along, following the blocks, just slipped off that tackle and picked up enough to get the first down. First down. So we're first and goal now. They dropped the chains, so that means they're within ten yards. Sweet. Puts a man in motion. It's Hill. He's going to hand off to Hill. He's going to take it up the middle and might man, have got a couple a there. Tackle. Yep. He busts by him and it's pay dirt. It's number five, well, I thought it was 54 and there's no 54, so let's just go down there and say it's uh, 64. <laughs> <laughs> I, I cannot see those yeah. numbers. Come on, Judson. What are we doing And here? they're undefeated in the conference. They are undefeated. Right? They, they have not played. They didn't play Winnemac because of the COVID situation, so mm -hmm. it's kind of, you know, you got that controversy there. <laughs> if you're Winamac, anyway. Well, yeah, they're undefeated. There you go. Caden. Caden Hill just shy of the goal line. I could see Sweet taking this himself. A little yeah, snap, a little just, just let, keep. Just let um, Lau just go ahead and clear, <laughs> lead the way, roadblock. Clear the block. way. Yeah. Let's see what Coach Adam Berry calls. 517. Clock running. Pioneer right on the one yard line. Sweet sets up his troops. 
Takes a snap. It's going to go to Robinson, and he just waltzes right in. Number 10, Brock Robinson. (laughs) That was like a... There you go, sir. Yeah, (laughs) open up the floodgates, walk right in. So with 5.04, Pioneer takes a 6-0 lead here at the pit. Yeah, great job on the... um, on that left side of the line boy, to clear that way. Very impressed, Pioneer. Just looks very smooth out yeah. there. That first drive just looked bang, bang. I mean, it looked clockwork. It's like rep. Like they're repping. Oh, yeah. Two-point conversion here for the Panthers. There it is. They're going to hand off to Robinson. And he's, he's got it. it. Two more for Brock Robinson. You know, North Judson... Um, I've been told they have a pretty stout defense. Yeah, uh, they ha- they do. They have a good defense. And they can defend the pass yeah. uh, fairly well. Hey, we'll go ahead and take one break here and be back after this on RTC TV 4. Pioneer TV. So back here at the pit, Panthers tack one on the board, 8 nothing. They converted the two-point conversion. And a good drive. Nice drive. I mean, that was a what, about an eighty yard drive? I yep, mean that's what I was eight up say. five you know, what, seven minutes off the clock? Eight minutes off the clock. Yeah, um since it is senior night, you know, and so forth. The the seniors there's seven of them. Yeah. Um and they're a really close tight tight knit group. Um that that they share. Man. So Solano back to kick. Let's see what he does with it. Gives it a good ride. That, That's uh, going to stay in bounds. Picked that up. Was Solano was it? Oh, he changed his number. Oh, slip tackle. Boy, look out. Could be trouble there. This time Derek Legrand's able to wrap him up. That's Cheyenne Allen. Cheyenne Allen, their leading rusher for the Judson Blue Jays. Nice run there on a 37-yard line now. So good field position to start things off for North Judson. Let's see what this Pioneer defense has in store for the Blue Jays. Pioneer's defense is what has made them and, break and kept them in games, and they've done a great job defensively. They got Tyler Zellers in there running a cornerback tonight. There's a pitch to Cheyenne Allen. He had it. Logan Smith was there, but a nice juke move by Allen, and he's got the first down. He's got, he's got some speed. Oh, he does. He's got speed, and he's a powerful runner. We've seen three powerful runners right in a row here. Knox with Shue, 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 Shuman, Shuman down at Culver, and then now Cheyenne Allen. So first and 10, ball on the 49. Judson moving it right along. We got a timeout here. And Schmel will come in for Solano. I can hear you. Yeah. Blind in deaf. Oh, nice pitch out. Good job by Bo Mersh. Wow. He was able to keep there. Nice job by Bo Mersh. Sorry, I'm just having a little difficulty. <laughs> I know you can hear me, but uh, I just I can't hear anything. So Adams went. Maybe blind. that's a good thing. Adams went <laughs> blind in deaf. <laughs> <laughs> That was a nice job by Bo Mersh to keep containment on that outside pitch. And as quick as he was getting out there, Bo was just as quick. Yeah. Um, to, that's a hard to meet at the. That's a hard play for a defender to keep your. That's a good job. There's another handoff, and Derek Legrand's able to eat him up after about a yard, maybe two. And that, that's a name we haven't said much this year. Yeah, Derek Legrand. <laughs> Who? It's like typically the the first name out of our mouth. And that was Cheyenne Allen. Is he, I'm sorry, is he, what grade is he in? Uh, I believe Allen's only a junior, if I remember right. Number 40. Yep, so, a so, junior. So they'll have some, a lot of more.
more games oh, with yeah. him. Six one one. They have him at one seventy five. I guarantee he's bigger than that. Harper takes a snap. Yeah, that looked like oh, they, that oh, was, oh. <laughs> Look at Logan. Where's he been? Oh, senior Logan Smith took down. What a great, great, great job. Aldrick Harper, and that's fourth down. So the Panthers will drop back to return the punt. They they, they have an, uh, a line that's got pretty a massive very as well. Big line. So back to return will be Caden Hill and Brock Robinson set at the 10-yard line there. They've, so ran, we, they've uh, ran that double return then for yeah. quite a few years, haven't they? Yeah, they kind of mix it up. And it's, oh, oh it goes past Caden. Just that's jump. not good. Wow. Pens him back on the what, five, four? Yeah, four, maybe three. Five, they're going to put it on the five. What do you do there just let it go in the end zone yeah you have to but but you don't know and it seemed like it was pretty far back ball had a lot of spin it didn't it didn't get up high in the air so i mean it's hard to handle there but so pioneer will have a long journey to get another touchdown here 95 yards well i think it's only right that it's 95 yards <laughs> Since we graduated in 95. There you go. <laughs> Sweet will be under center. How about that little waggle? Lyle snaps. They're going to run that little counter. There's there you Hayden. go. There you go. Uh, go, there you go, 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 go. Caton Hill working down the field. Look at that um, motivation right there. Man, Caton Hill. A great little let's counter. Let's check out play. this replay. Yeah, let's check this out, man. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> there we go. Just some nice patience on his yep. part. He got outside, got and off. And then he's ripping those legs. So a 20-yard run by Caden Hill. Puts it on the 25. There's a snap. Hand off to Robinson. He cuts forward. Pounds <laughs> forward. Five yards. Five yards for Brock Robinson. Do you, do you think that was uh, Caden's longest run of the year? Or did uh, he have? Oh, I'm sure, no, he's had longer runs than that, I believe. But that was a nice run. He he did a good job of hitting the where the hashes are and getting outside where they should be, anyways. <laughs> Sweet under center puts Hill in motion. Another handoff to Robinson, and this time not so fortunate. I think he's going to be stopped there, maybe for a yard. So a third and three. Sorry. <laughs> this freaking thing is giving me fits. <laughs> so third and three, Pioneer. And already, look at the field um, yeah. getting destroyed. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a snap they're going to give oh. to Robinson again. And the, the Pioneer line there in the middle. Just He's right there. He's missed right the, there. Missed their blockers, it looked like. He picked up the first down, though. Yeah, there you go. He got just that's enough. We, that's all we needed. That's right. He got just enough, and looks like Gallmer's coming out. And, Miller. Yep, Miller's coming in. Is that, is Owen, that Ethan? Oh. Owen. Yeah, Gallmer's coming, getting something checked out. Looked like his ankle, he was kind of. Holding that. There's a snap. There's that little counter. This time to Bomer. Man, they like Bomer's that developed. trying to get outside. <laughs> wow. Shows go, up. go. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> He's gone. Number three, Bomer's puts on the gas. Wow. Look there at you that. There go, Bomer. Bam. Yeah, we talked about a little bit. And Bomer's doing it. There's that counter Jason Seward go. called a couple minutes ago, too. Put him on the coaching staff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's done it before. Yeah. Wow, Bo Mersh. Solid. Man. Look, that at, was, look at this speed. Oh, man. Check this out. There's some fireworks going off over there, folks. I was so impressed with how long it took to develop at first. Yeah. And then he just turned on the afterburners. 
Nice job, man. I, he, I thought, well, I thought the jumped, defender was going to catch well, him. He there, stepped right through two tackles yeah, over there yeah. on the sideline. Stepped through two tackles and was a jet. Wow. 14 nothing Pioneer with 10 seconds left here in the first quarter. There's a snap this time to Robinson. Robinson, and he's going to take it. He got in. Two-point conversion, good. So Panthers. That was impressive. That was nice. That was, that was really very, nice. very impressive. I love that counter play, too. I do. And Bo, Bo had to work for that because he yeah, had to he run did. all the way across field almost to find just enough to get op- for the opening over there. And then he split two tackles, and he was gone. Yeah. Man, that, that was some <laughs> breakaway speed, man. Crazy. I mean, everybody up up here and was yeah. hooping and hollering. Oh, man. He's had, he's had some the electrifying excitement. plays the last three yes, games. Yes, he has. Very much so. Looking good in the neighborhood here at Royal <laughs> Center, huh? Yeah, that field. Mud. That's right. <laughs> uh, Chris Knight so I just want to say uh, <laughs> Aiden's uh, friends from Lafayette uh, yeah. just showed up. Oh, is that uh, one of his best Ben? Ben, big Ben. Give him a shout That's out. Awesome. I said I'd give a shout out to my son Ryland. He he's over at my mom's tonight. Hopefully he's listening. Probably not. <laughs> Maybe. How can you give him a shout a out? A couple man? minutes. Oh, <laughs> mom will tell him. <laughs> so so uh, Oscar Solano is getting ready to kick off, and as John would say, Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, Whoa. That Look. One, wow. That one took a turn for the worse. <laughs> that was like a tornado. It uh, was. Coming over to the side there. Uh, that feels not good, and I guarantee getting your footing to kick off is what? even worse. Well, you can't go for it on a kickoff. <laughs> so they're going to take that. Looks like they're going to just move it up. Well, and I, North uh, Judson will start it the, right here on the, the 40. Sorry. The good thing here is it's not raining right now. Not yet. What, Let's hope it, it doesn't. Yeah. Let Mother Nature help us out yeah. a little bit. Yeah, if get it this was, game in. Yeah, if it was raining, nobody gets here. hurt, obviously. Oh man, that, that's the biggest thing right there, man. You don't want people getting hurt right before sectionals. Yeah, got to keep them. So, can he zoom in? So Pioneer will get ready on defense. It's a handoff. Oh, nope. There's, there's a flag. A That's down. probably going to hold there on North Judson from where that came from, that judge, that official. <laughs> 5.2. Uh, as much as, you know, I loved, you know, playing football when it's messy and stuff, It, <laughs> it's not really <laughs> – I can see where it's not really fun to – you know, be slipping and sliding and just have that potential of, yeah. you know, getting hurt. Well, that's going to move him back quite a bit. I'm sorry, what what was the call? I was messing with my headset. These are a block in the back, I believe, and that's what pushed him back that far. 16 to nothing, 5.2. So we, and uh, this will finish up the first quarter. So the the uh, student section over here is bunch of animals. A bunch of animals. Got got some cows and squirrels. So we're going to take a break on RTC TV four. Be back after this. Back here at the pit, Pioneer up sixteen nothing to start the second quarter. And Adam, <laughs> that first that first quarter was nice. I mean, we had some a big play by Bo Mersh. We had a nice my, nice methodical drive by Pioneer. That first score, put it in from one yard out was Robinson. So, yeah, that was that was a nice little quarter for Pioneer. Let's see what the second quarter has to offer. And, you know, you say methodical because we said that a lot this year, but it was more tactical. I mean, 
they knew exactly what they were doing every mm -hmm. every play every situation on that and they executed it tr um, very well well they they knew they wanted to in the ball a lot and that showed that first quarter for sure so here we go pioneer defense seeing what we got Drop back uh, to pass, he's, he's unloads, wide, and wide up. Oh, oh, almost picked by Bo Mersh. Bo Mersh right there again. He was right on the <laughs> stride for hip stride. pocket. Yes, sir. Caden Hill was there as well. So good coverage by the Panthers. That, re that receiver had some speed to to get out there to even have a chance at that he ball. He had good speed, but he was the only one running any route, if you noticed. Everybody else yeah. was still on the, yep. up here. I'm trying to catch who that guy is out there. Eight, what's it, 87? I don't it, know. I it can't. could be. It could Maybe 89, Tanner Hampton. I don't know. He looks tall. Let's, let's say Cason Sanchez. Uh, How about that? Yeah. If that's who it was. <laughs> and they're going to pass again Look this at time. The Panthers are swarming there in there. There we go. Who, uh, Logan Solano. Smith. Logan Smith. There? Yep. He, he's amped tonight as well. Oh, yeah. These seniors are – they are ready to play tonight. They are ready to play most nights, but, I mean, tonight is a special night for seniors. Your last – it's not going to be your last home game because you play Wabash here next week. But, but regular season. Regular point. season home game, so it's starting to dwindle. Starting to dwindle. Yes, sir. Oh, we got the senior uh, – Program. Senior it's program. Very uh, intricate. Neat. Yeah. yeah. Pretty neat. Don't want to look at it right now because we got a game to watch. They're going to pass again. Look, look at Miller getting around. Oh. Oh. Great oh. open field tackle by number 17. Awesome. Awesome. Tyler, Ze Tyler Zeller's played awesome last yeah. week. Yeah, he did. I was impressed. The kid, he's one of those guys, you put him in there, you don't have to worry much. You rotate him As around. As a freshman, though. Yeah, right? Sophomore, I believe. Oh, okay. Sophomore. You put him in there, and he does a great job at linebacker. They've got mm -hmm. him playing corner tonight. Got him. No, he's up playing. Oh yeah. Yeah. Corner. Okay. He so, um, just had a great open field tackle right that was, there. That, yeah. And that's hard. So he's getting some quality minutes in uh, in the varsity game too. I I guess I thought he was a freshman. There's a good, good high punt. punt. Good but punt. I can't see it. I don't know where it's at. Robinson will let it Didn't drop it, down kind and of sit. A wash on that bounce. So the Panthers will take over after but, that punt. Um, looks like Gomer's coming back yep. in. So whatever it was wasn't too significant. So 10:58 left here in the second quarter. And just in that series of plays, look at the field. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so it looks like the uh, Panthers, they got uh, Sweet under center with uh, 10.58 left here in the first half. Brock Robinson around the end there. So now it's, uh, you guys are just stuck with me here. <laughs> John's... Uh, Helping out some of the uh, the cameramen. Sweet steps to to get under center. The motion. Oh, we got a flag. False start. Got a false start on uh, well on the Panthers. Going to move him back. Man, that's a lonely feeling when you're here by yourself. <laughs> well, you got other people here, Adam. Right, but. Oh, by yourself. Well, I was helping the camera guy get, get situated here. He's a young fella. Doing a great job for the Pioneer Audio Visual Club, though. And our production, Madison, over here on the computer, she rocks it, man. But there was nothing there. There was a, there was a fake pitch there. And yeah. So it's a third down. I really want to see that option though. Like yeah. Caleb run that. ran yeah. ran that very well. The the first game that he took over at the quarterback range. 
so in this territory, third and 13, 14, whatever, um, you look for that counter to Bo Mersh again. Yeah. Are the, are the waggle? Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. You call waggle, I call a counter. <laughs> there's that, there's that, and I get I win. But it goes to Caden Hill, and he gets nothing. Yeah. They read that like a book. Great job by the uh, the defenders there. Nothing. Yep. So fourth down, fourth and You've got a punt 13. there. Oh, yeah. So they put Dylan Odom, another senior out there. Great job kicking for us, yeah. our first pioneer this year. That's a year. good job. So Odom back, 8.55 on the clock as it runs here in the second quarter. Pioneer up 16 to nothing here at the pit. And that's a good, oh, job. He good almost job by got Dylan blocked. Odom to get that Heck thing away. yes, it was. And this is going to roll out that's of That's okay. Yeah, that was we'll a great that. job for him to even get that he, punt off. Man, he, he put that thing up into the sky, man. I was almost wondering if that defender was going to run into him. Yeah, they did a good – you saw him coming out, trying to time that snap up to get the uh, block, but Odom did a good job of, first of all, getting the snap, jumping up and grabbing the snap. Yeah. And, and he's a tall kid, too. Yeah. So He took his time and got the good punt. So Pioneer will be on defense here. Let's see if Judson tries to throw the ball a little more, too. Their center looks like he could probably be a running back. Yeah, he's not very big. They're going to hand off and great. Man, you see the Jeez. mud pop yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. Great, yeah. great run there by, uh, I'm sorry, what? What's Cheyenne the... Allen, I believe. Yeah. He seems as though um, that he's going to, sorry, that he's going to be a featured back uh, for that offense. Oh, yeah. he's He's been in there since he was a freshman. So here we go, ball. Third, second and six. There's a snap, the handoff again, and man, he gets a load of steam going. Man. It's very gen <laughs> genderly, the field is, uh, because, yeah, I mean, I just saw. Like crap, honestly. I don't know if it was Mersh that, or not Mersh, but uh, Miller. Yeah. About saw him crack his leg. <laughs> So third and three. What what did you take away? <laughs> yeah, Dennis Dennis Walker just said that's what Wabash is gonna be watching this <laughs> and seeing this crap filled and thinking we might not even go over there. Yeah. I don't I don't think he got that first down. That's close. Yeah. So when you were <clears throat> Listening last week or, yeah. or watching, what did you what did you take away from the Culver game? I think Culver did exactly what they wanted to do. They took their time on every drive, and that that's how they play. They play that phone booth football, the power T, and they did exactly what they wanted to do. Yeah, they're going to pull out for a measurement here. Fourth and inches. No. Yeah. We're going to see what happens. Actually, I think they might have that. It's going to be close. They would love to take the benefit of this measuring. Yeah. No, it's about... Yeah, about, five, yeah. Five it's always it's four. always that you know that it's always that about yeah. that <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter man it can be NFL college it's about that yeah <laughs> hey what kind of fish did you catch or how big was the fish about, about this that <laughs> <laughs> it's fourth and how many inches <laughs> so here we go fourth and nah, probably about six inches from what the ref said so how about this about this <laughs> Oh, quarterback. he got it. Yep. He just got it. At first, it didn't look like he was going to get that push, but his offensive line did a good job. So, first down for the Blue Jays. They're having a very uh, intended drive. Yeah. They've done a nice job. And what Pioneer did on that first drive. No, they go. Now he is. 
Yeah, um, I was excited to do this game as well because I knew it was going to be a, a fight, a battle. And, yeah. you know, North, North Judson is not out of it by any stretch. No, that, now that's not going to work. You can't put two in motion at the same time. That tells me they were going to pass. That receiver started off too quick. So five-yard penalty. And obviously back. told the, uh, the lineman it was going to pass <laughs> So first and fifteen for Judson. Not not nah, house. So the Pioneer girls uh, in volleyball won last night. They won last night their first sectional game over at Southwood sectional fifty two. They were able to beat Lakeland Christian Academy pretty handily. Pitch out to. Is that Allen as well? Yeah, uh, that's number 20. Or 30. Con Connor Benson, I believe. I didn't see nothing go up. It ran inbounds. So he got nine yards on the carry, but still second down in about seven. And they're using good use of the, of the clock. Yeah. Yep. So Pioneer girls will be playing tomorrow at, I believe, I believe 12th, they play Northville, the Lady North, Norse, over there of Wabash County. And if they win that, they would be playing in the championship game at 7 o'clock. Okay. There's another sport that has a, a good group of seniors. Oh, yeah. There's that pitch. And that'll be a first down. Man, and he's Mil ripping down that sideline. Miller rocked the quarterback. Yeah. So that's Frazier. It's Owen Frazier, number 24. Now that I kind of see the number, it's re it is really hard to see those. Yep. Um, I got to take off oh, to, well, to go down okay. for Okay, I'll half see you time. later. Thanks for, right. thanks for being here. <laughs> <laughs> no, Adam's going to go down there for yeah. a senior night. Make, make some good commentary, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That snap was late, but nice run there and brought down by Derek Legrand. And that should be a first down, and that should, probably should have been a false start, actually. Uh, that guy was in motion. The ball hadn't been snapped, but no call there. The ball on the 25. 5.06 left here in the first half. Panthers up 16 to nothing. Aldrich Harper, the quarterback, puts a man in motion. There's a snap. There's a quick pitch. Logan Smith uses that wrestling prowess and brings him down in the backfield. Nice job by Logan Smith. He's had some quality tackles tonight already. Just keeps adding to the stat sheet. That was a beaut yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you could tell Logan Smith has done some wrestling in his time. So a seven-yard loss, second and 18. Oh, they timed, tried to time it off. There's a pitch, and they stretch it out, and a good tackle again. And who else but Logan Smith, number two? That linebacker, man, he's having a game and a half tonight. Good job by Logan Smith. 4.04 left here in the first half. So third and nine for the Jays of North Judson. Probably a passing situation here for North Judson. They do have a guy that can kick the ball. Got a pretty good kicker. Motion there, snap. He's going to fake out, and he's going to get, yep, great job there by Caleb Sweet to get pressure on the quarterback, Aldrich Harper. Knew that was a pass play. Pioneer had the blitz called. Good job by Pioneer and the coaching staff. Fourth and nine. 
And this is definitely going territory for the Jays. In fact, they might call a timeout. Gun formation for Harper. And they're going to call a timeout right at right before the play clock runs out. We'll take a timeout real quick here as well on RTC TV4, Pioneer TV. So back here at the pit, 332 left here in the first half. Pioneer up 16 to nothing. They've done it methodically in the first half quarter. And then Bo Mersch was able to rip a big runoff, pick up a touchdown. And those have been the scores for the Panthers tonight. Again, other games on the docket, RTC style. Rochester playing McConaughey tonight. Again, the big game would be Tippy Valley, Tippecanoe Valley Vikings versus the Southwood Knights. Winnemac versus Triton, Caston versus Knox, and Culver versus LaVille. So a full slate of games tonight on RTC TV4 Sports. So here we go. Fourth down and nine, Judson. Gun formation, Harper takes a snap, drops back, throws, and that's a great catch. And oh my goodness, wow. What a catch, what a run. And how to, boy, he finished that off, just blew a pioneer defender back about four yards to get that touchdown. Catch and run. Yep, a great job by Judson to put one on the board. So give North Judson some credit. And if you look out there, it's raining. It's raining now. Here it comes. Right before halftime. So Judson looking to probably going to go for two here. Now, last week, they had a huge win over LaVille with a overtime point after to win 10-9. to nine. It was a big, big kick. But they're going to go for two here. Drop back, looking to pass. He throws that again. And this time, another two-point conversion there for Judson. Bo Mersch just couldn't get quite to it and threw it right over the top. So a good job by Aldrich Harper. So Pioneer will look to avenge that touchdown. 324 left here in the first half. Set to kick off, and it's going to be a decent kick. It's going to be fielded there by Robinson. He looks to make a move. He's up the field, and he is a jet. Nice return by Brock Robinson. Beautiful run, and he just found the seam right up the middle. I said Robinson. Nice job. It's on the 42-yard line, so Pioneer has all their timeouts left for this last 317 in the half. <laughs> they just have to think for a minute. Use our head. <laughs> Sweet under center. Puts a man in motion. There he goes. The handoff to Mersh, and he can't get outside. Maybe got a yard on the play. So second and nine for Pioneer. Right at three minutes before half. Panthers looking to put another one on the board right before half. Hill and Mersh at halfback. They put Mersh in motion. And they'll fake the handoff, and here comes Caleb Sweet, and he bangs forward, and he might have the first down. Let's see where they mark him. It's going to be close. It's good run by Caleb Sweet, and he comes up looking like he just ran through the puddle, and he sure did. It's all muddy, drying the hands off. So just shy of a first down, third and one, third and a short one. Nope, they're going to move him. They're changing the call. That'll be a first down for Pioneer. So sweet, under center, Robinson set behind him. 
fullback position, handoff to Robinson. He cuts to the left, keeps moving. He's got about eight yards on that carry. Nice run by Brock Robinson. Boy, Robinson has ran the ball very well tonight, and he's gotten a lot of carries. And you, you just like to feed him the ball as much as you can. The 5'7 senior. It's gotten better and better since he was a freshman. He's put his mark in the Pioneer football book for stats, that's for sure. Robinson, nope. Nice job, Robinson gets out of bounds, and now it'll be a first down. Stop the clock so Pioneer can reset things. It's on the 34. So we're first and 10. Sweet under center. He's got Hill and Mersh at the halfbacks. Robinson, Hill goes in motion. And they're going to call it. I think Robinson kind of leaned forward there. So that'll be a five-yard penalty. Push him back. Yep. Robinson got a little head start there. First and 15 now for Pioneer. Minute 52 left here in the half. Sweet gets the call from Coach Adam Barry, sideline. The junior quarterback, Caleb Sweet, takes it to the huddle. We're ready to go. First and 15. Sweet gets his troops set. Takes a snap. Hands off to Robinson. He's got a little bit of a hole, and he's going to get out of bounds. Again, Brock Robinson just sniffing that sideline to stop the clock every time. Nice run there, about six-yard carry. So second nine for Pioneer. And this helps Pioneer. They don't have to use any timeouts. When they get out of bounds, they can get things set up quicker. Sweet under center takes a snap. Oh, there's a first. Oh, but Sweet will pick it up and he will rumble forward. Picks up maybe two, three yards on that ball that is mishandled. That's a first ball that has been mishandled tonight. So that's a good sign, actually. Third down. So third and five for Pioneer. And they're going to hurry up to the line. Again, it's that rain coming down. That ball is going to get slick real quick. There you go. Hand off to Robinson. He cuts back, and he keeps working. He's got the first down. Brock Robinson just shaking tackles, pulling guys along with him to get that first down. At five foot seven, he's not real big, but he is a strong running back. So a timeout here called by Pioneer with a minute seven left, 16 to eight. So it's on the 23-yard line when they come back out of the huddle and out of the timeout. My goodness, it's coming down harder now. Yeah, you can see the rain coming down right now. And the field, yeah, it's all the talk of the town. The field just looking worse and worse as the minutes click by. Thank goodness we're inside. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. Thank goodness we're up here staying dry, cozy. Beautiful night for football, actually. I don't know what everybody's complaining about out there. <laughs> it's just the warning. And the wind's picking up. Yeah, there's a little wind. Yeah, there's a little wind out there, too. So, a little bit. <laughs> So here we go. Pioneer comes to the line of scrimmage. First and 10 on the 23. Looking to put a touchdown on right before half here. Minute seven. Sweet under center. Looks up and down the line. He gets set. Puts a man in motion. Takes a snap. They're going to run that counter to Bo Mersh. Bo Mersh. And he is caught. That time he is caught. Nice tackle there by number 22. That was... Connor Benson, 
two-yard gain. Pioneer hurries back to the line of scrimmage. Second and eight. Sweet. Under center. Puts a man in motion. Takes a snap. He turns it. Hands off. Nope. Boy, that was a great fake, and Sweet kept it. And timeout Pioneer. We'll take a quick timeout as well here on RTC TV4, Pioneer TV. So back here coming out of timeout, 34.5 on the clock, left before half. Pioneer looking to score another touchdown, third and six. I don't know if that was a cold play for Sweet or if he just kind of mishandled the ball, but it looked like Lo, uh, Brock Robinson turned to return, try to catch a pass there, but Sweet kept the ball that time. Sweet under center. Mersh and Hill split at the halfback. It's a snap. Sweet dropped back, looking, looking, and he fights away, but he stays on his feet. And a timeout, Coach Barry. Good job by Sweet just to fight off a tackle and get get back to that line of scrimmage, but it's still fourth down, so this is going to uh, it's be interesting for Coach Barry and the Pioneer Panthers. They really want to get another touchdown, but with fourth and six. Sitting on the 20. The rain coming down a little bit harder each minute here. <laughs> Again, halftime. Got senior night. A lot of seniors. Parents are out there as well. So they'll honor the seniors tonight. Football cheerleaders. Band, I believe. Not band. Nope. <laughs> Not even for the seniors. So here we go. Let's see what we can get out of this. You got to think that Sweet will be passing here if he can. Put Hill in motion. There it is. They hand it to, oh, nothing there. Good job. They just tie up Bo Mersh. So 20.4 left here for. Judson and they've got some momentum rolling here for North Judson now. So it'll be on the 19. North Judson with 20 seconds here to see if they can get anything on the board. Looks like they've got two timeouts left and you can guarantee they're probably going to use them both if they have to. So Judson, Aldrich Harper up under center. And they're in victory formation, so they're just going to go into halftime. They're going to go into halftime with that eight points on the board, but they're, they're well within striking distance of Pioneer. So we're going to go ahead and go to halftime, be back here on RTC TV4, Pioneer TV. She's the daughter of Michael and Carrie Price. She's going to attend the University of Kansas and major in sports management. Playing softball. Kennedy Korn. She participates in volleyball and band. She's the daughter of Todd and Rhonda Korn. She's going to attend Indiana Wesleyan University and major in social work or a field of psychology. Mackenzie Robinson participates in volleyball. Uh, daughter of Jim and Rhonda Robinson attend IU School of Medicine and major in science of paramedics. Cross country. First, we have Ryan Adams. Uh, son of Tom and Diana Adams, attend IU Wilmington or Purdue University and major in music. free medicine. I love his music. Macy Baker, Brian she Adams. participates in cross country and band. She is the <laughs> daughter of Brad Shalon Baker, attend Summit Salon Kokomo for aesthetics and makeup certification. Kylie Ferris participates in cross country. Uh, daughter of Matthew and Brandy Ferris. She's going to attend Purdue University and major in agricultural education. 
Next we have Amanda Harrington. She participates in cross country and band. Maggie Steffel. She is a member of the cross country team. She's the daughter of Travis and Lori Steffel. She's going to go into the Air Force and pursue a psychology degree. Okay, next we have Mason Hinkle. He's a member of the cheer. Okay, is the son of Jeremy and Candace Hinkle. Sophia Baker participates in band. Daughter of Wade Baker and Kendra Hunt. She's going to attend IUK to major in psychology. Alaric Demock participates in band. Uh, parents AJ Demock and Mary Speed to attend college at the University of Notre Dame or the University of San Francisco. Next we have Remy Moss. He is a member of the band. Son of Michael and Rico Moss. Attend IUK to major in nursing. Next we have Faith Norzinski. She participates in band. Parents are Brian and Holly Felker and Eric Norzinski. She's going to attend IUK to major in biology. Sarah Pulaski participates in band. Parents, Craig and Stephanie Pulaski, attend Butler University to major in political science. Next we have Christian Stott. He participates in band. Parents are Brandon and Laura Stott. He's going to attend Purdue or IUPUI to major in engineering. And our last one for tonight is Riley Schatzer. He participates in band. Parents, it's Ted Musselman and Lisa Schatzer going to attend the International Business College and major in veterinary technology. Oh, Bo. Oh, a little squib kick. Oh, couldn't get oh, it. He, he looks He's to be gone. Across. Oh, oh. That, there you go. That's going to be the first, like, yep. we know the conditions there, obviously. Yeah, that was the first time that we've seen anybody slip and fall. So, Bo Mersh, I'm seeing his favorite quote, everyone must choose one of two pains, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. Ooh, I like that. By like Jim Rohn. Oh, Jim Rohn. Jim Rome. <laughs> um, he does have a favorite song. What is it? Once in Need by Drake. <laughs> hey, we're back here. It's 1127. <laughs> wow. That is going to be... It's going to be a little sloppy in the second yeah, half. Yeah, it's pretty muddy out there. Not by the play, but by the field condition. Stop. Stop. So they reset the game clock here. I <laughs> so here we go. Aldrich Harper up under center for the Jays. It's motion. A handoff. Oh, nice there. run there. Picked up about, that was a great run. Yeah, picked um, up almost eight yards there. Great job by the North Jets and the uh, line just to, um, you know, make that pathway for uh, for him to run. Yeah, good job by Judson to <coughs> move the ball there. And we need one of those squeegees on the on the windows here, man. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Put a man in motion. This time oh, it's going to be that nice deep, pitch that right there. Pitch. He got, and Roy there's nowhere to go after Pioneer. that. They stop him at the line of scrimmage. It looked like it was going to get some yardage. Yeah, it did. But Great pitch, though. He pitched that at just the right time as he was Logan getting, Smith hit him. getting hit. Yep. Now they are going to give him a yard there on that carry. What do you mean on that? That's what you need to do. Release at the last second. There you go. So here we go. Third and one. Have you ever wanted to be under a trash bag? <laughs> hey, he's keeping that camera dry. <laughs> Motion. Man, that field. Oh, oh there's man. nowhere to run for him. I don't know, man. That's really close. That was Cody Legrand right there. Yeah. And Derek Legrand in there, too. He's been a force. Where are we going to mark this bad boy? 
He got a few yards, maybe. Not quite, not quite, but it's maybe a two or three inches. So you gotta, they're, they're obviously going, you're for, going it. for it. You just lean and, a lean to and get it. And you give it to Cheyenne Allen, he's probably going to bang it for a, I don't at least know. a yard. Um, no, nope, we're going to call timeout. Solano they, nope. and, and the Legrands may say nope. otherwise. Yeah, they're going to measure this real quick. They've had three measure. That's the most measurements I've seen in about two years in a football game for high school. Might as well. I mean, it's raining out there. You got nothing better to do than sit out there and let the guys get wet. Speaking of which, I got soaked uh, during that presentation <laughs> at, at halftime, so yeah, I, had to, yeah. I had to change some clothes. So. I see that. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna wear my letter jacket. So just shy, yeah, just shy of a first down. So fourth and inches for the Judson Blue Jays. But I don't want to embarrass Aiden, so I I didn't. <laughs> I think uh, this is gonna be a stand strong moment for the Pioneer defense. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to stop him here with a couple inches. Hey, there, there could be a, a botch snap. Yeah, I was just gonna say that they're they've got the ball. <laughs> the referee was drying it. Look at Logan Smith. He's ready to. Oh, he just. Uh, oh, man, that's close. It depends where they spot it, but yeah, I think he got, he, it. Got it. He I think got he got it. I think he got it. Yeah, that side judge down there, he's able to show it. Yep, first down by maybe a yard. So 946, and 16 to 8, and Judson's moving the ball, moving the ball. Did they get that two pro? Two-point conversion, pretty uh, oh, yeah. easily. They, they threw it over the top of Bo Mersh to, okay. the, yeah, just out of his reach. There they go. They got a guy spread wide over there on the short side of the field. Put a man in motion. Fake handoff, and there oh, we go. Look at that. There we go. Nice job by the Panthers defense. Man, who was that? Who got that? I, I think it was Miller. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, it was. I'm pretty yep, sure it was. Yep. Owen Miller. Owen He's Miller. a ha ha. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Him and Eli and Owen, they fill out a uniform, don't they, man? They they fill the pads well. Well, and Caleb Sweet was in on that, too. Yeah. He's the one that gave that shove to be like, let's go. I like when your quarterback is your linebacker as well. <laughs> How many times have we had that? Oh, a lot, actually. Or safety, or a guy that just kind of rolls. Oh, safety. There's a deep pitch. And He's got some room man. out there. No, oh, he what ran happened? right through Mersh. What happened? He ran right through yeah. Bo Mersh. He wasn't even there to even no. take. Mm. And we, we took bad angles on that. In the backfield, we could have had him. Caden Hill had a bad angle. Logan Smith, who rarely has a bad angle on that, he did as well. I could have saw uh, the the runner just kind of trucking. Yeah. And I don't know who wanted a piece of that. Not to, <laughs> nobody wanted it. That's looked like. So was that what? Fifteen yards? Or, uh, on that last run. There you go. There's a handoff. Oh, nice, great run. Man, he just ran a hole through Pioneer's defense. Yes, He's he able did. to hurdle the. Tackle attempt. He's got some venom in him. Yeah. Nice hard run. First down. Well, Judson's starting to move the ball. Yeah, they are. And they're, looks Panthers like need they're to, playing with a purpose right now. Yeah, Panthers need to just get that, get that back. Yep. So ball on the 26, first and 10 for the Judson Blue Jays. I'm surprised Jays. we haven't seen Smell. Or is he in there? Uh, he's been in there a couple times. He's not in there now, though, is he? No. That quickness, I think, would be. There's a handoff off again this time. Uh, Good job by Pioneer. They're able to wrap him up. And that but was he got four, four or five yards. Yep. Now it's on the 21, Dennis. Second and five. Yeah, I, I'm going to agree with Dennis Walker. <laughs> I am too. It looks like they're they're moving moving forward. A legal procedure would be yeah. the correct uh, terminology. We'll watch it again and see wide. here. I don't know where the ball's at. 
21 yard line. In motion. There's a handoff. He's he's got. And they throw a flag, so that's going to be, be a, a hold. hold. Chop block! We've got holler and chop block out here. Something. There's Schmel. You just. Sit, man. Nostradamus. There you go. <laughs> Chop block, here we go. This guy down here knows what he, he's talking about. Who is that? He knows what he's talking about. I don't about. know, but he was he saw it. Good call, good call. <laughs> second down and call. <laughs> I got fans giving me the eye. <laughs> no, good job. <laughs> uh, so that'll move him back. It, that'll move him back. Hey, what's your name? Twelve. <laughs> There's a second. <laughs> so here we go. Pioneer has moved them back. A little, well, they moved themselves back as Judson. There's a slip. There's a deep pitch. Oh, oh there's no. nothing there. He slipped. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Right so, in that area, man. How many times have you heard a fan, like, just call it out? Like, we were calling a hold on that last play. Yeah. And, and he, and he called, called the chop block. And, and there's right. 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 If you're watching that interior line, you can see what's going on. If you're watching the ball, you don't really yeah, see that. True that. So they're in the mud pit out there. <laughs> John's trying to play footsie with me. <laughs> He's trying to move. There's a snap, drop back to pass. He's going to unload. Picked and, off. Yep. Is it picked off? He, he caught, caught it. it. He oh. caught it. And oh they my. don't throw the flag. He got right in the oh face. Oh, my goodness. What a catch. That was a catch. That was a – you had two Pioneer defenders right there. How did that How did that uh, slip in between them? I don't know. How are those boys getting away with this stuff? What was – there was a – not a flag? No. Well, <clears throat> the receiver got right in the face of our defender after he caught it. There's no need for that in high school football. So Judson's on, on knocking on the door of yep. another touchdown. It's a handoff. Fights forward and he, he might oh, be in. Pioneer did a good job. No, they pushed him uh, back. No. So about on the one-yard line here. Yeah. Well, I mean, control of the ball, time of possession is going to be very, very important as this game yeah. gets down to to the end. Oh, it's going to be about on the four-yard line maybe. It's hard to see. Pioneer looking to blitz. Here they come. And they stonewall him. Great job. Right here. No, don't use those. I'll use my so another goal line stance by Pioneer. Adam's going to go out here and wipe this window off so we can see what's going on, maybe. <laughs> uh, hey, you got to get props to the cameraman down here. He's doing a great job with his head in the bag, but he's keeping that camera dry. There's that deep pitch. Pioneer right there. Nope. No, he didn't get in. Just shy of the goal line there. So it'll be fourth and a short one for Judson. And this is a big stand for Pioneer now. Got to get the fans up and ready. Let's see if they... Well, actually... No, actually, it looks like it's it's further back than what we thought. So here we go, Pioneer defense. Motion. There's a deep pitch to Allen. He cuts, and he's going to slide right into the end zone. So Cheyenne Allen takes the pitch and goes in from about two out for a touchdown. And here we go, Adam. Here we go. We said it's going to be a close game. Yeah. And it sure is right now. They get this two-point conversion. We're tied yeah, this up. Would, this is a big play. Yep. we got to stop this two-point conversion. we got, what, 353 left in the third? Yeah. Um, if we can 
If Pioneer can get that stop, that's going to bring that momentum into the next next drive. Yeah. <laughs> the Panthers really, the last eight, nine minutes that we've watched them play, they kind of let the Jets and Blue Jays move the ball yeah. at will, honestly. Here we go. Big play here. See if they can stop the two-point conversion. Harper under center takes a snap, puts a man in motion. He's going to drop back and throw, and it's going to be dropped. Stop. Drop. Good job. Good coverage. Uh, Bo yeah, Mersh. I was going to say, who was covering that? Bo Mersh got his hand in there, made the play. Man, he could be maybe on, on the round for MVP this year. Man, he's, he's doing his thing. And that's no lie. Hey, let's take a break. Be back here on RTC TV 4. Pioneer TV. And, and they, they are. Do. They are. And good job. That, was that Miller? Excellent job. Yes, Miller was able to jump on it. Nice job. He almost waited too long, but he waited yeah. long enough and was able to get it. You know, Judson has to wait until the ball passes a 10. To, mm -hmm. so but, I mean, if, if there was any little bit of a fumble, I mean, yep. they were right there. Good hands, Owen Miller. So Pioneer looking to move the ball here. So here we go. Sweet under center. Robinson in the backfield. Caden that Hill. That's right. Bo Mersh in motion. Look at, look at the job. handoff to Robinson. He Let's cuts go. one. He cuts one and picks up a first. Eh, it's going to be close. Real that close. That line got some great movement. Yes, they did. They played like they were on a mission that time. That did the offensive line. Boy, I mean, I was kind of. Um, locked in on a certain number, yeah. 64, eight yep. line son, but he really stood that guy up and just moved him. So they they mark it short like from yards, what I thought. Right? Oh, oh, pick it up. Caleb Hill or Caleb Sweet's going to get bulldozed Man, in the back. Yeah, loss. Uh, depends where they spot the – no, they're, gonna, they're only going to make it about a two-yard loss. Okay. That's one thing in high school. They don't – let you shove a guy 10 yards back and then put the ball back there, usually, anyways. So this a two-yard loss. This has been a frustrating part of the season. Yeah. And I don't, you know, it's, tonight's a, there's a reason for the yeah. bo botch snap. But, but when you look at it from after seeing the, yeah. the earlier games, yeah. it's like, oh, here, you know, here, here we, we go. go again. Yeah. <laughs> there's a snap again. He drops it. Man. Oh, man. Wow. I'm kind of at a loss right now. Uh, Sweet needs to dry his hands off, actually. You know, get those, get yeah, a new ball I, in there. It does look like, I mean, they look to be good. They're, they're snaps. good snaps. I, I just, I, you know, that, that ball's slick. It's yeah. getting slick. They switch it out, so they put a fresh ball in there. Spray some, uh, what's that spray? That sticky, t I don't know. Sticky tack. Lysol. <laughs> I don't know. Here we go. Panthers. Snap. This time it's handled. There and we, that's there very that, close. That's first down. Boy, that is close. That is close. I think Brock got it. Uh, oh, man. No, Where they're short. marking him, that's a, not a very good. Let's get a, uh, a measure. Yep. They're definitely going to. That was a, yeah, that was. Is a <laughs> spot. not a good spot. Another look, fan. You stand here, and I'm, like, standing right here on where yeah. that ball was at, and he was probably three or four inches over that line. That's, what a, that's would be about a, a yard down. difference. Yeah. I'm just saying that that was a horrible spot. Yeah, it was not a good spot. Here comes the chain gang. Well, no it. Well, now they move. No, he did have it. That was a bad spot. That was a bad spot. He had it. He a yard short. What? Well, they're not even going to measure it. What is going on? I'm really surprised at that, John. Well, where they ended up putting it, he, he was short. But that chain had was back air when, they, when the play was yeah. done. Mm hmm so here we go. Let's go, Pioneer. We got to get the defense rolling. We got to do something now. 
This is a great getting, momentum boost for, yeah. for Judson. Oh, it is, big time. I'm looking for him to throw it again. They got a guy out there wide. Big, tall receiver. Motion. They were just they just run to that have a nice there. strip would be good. Um, yeah. You know, Pioneer does kind of prey on when they um, stand the runner up. Yep. You know, people just sneak in there and psh, let's let's take that ball and run to the house. We need a big a big turnover. Let's watch here. Pay attention and see if North Judson starts gets moving before the ball is actually snapped I, I, forward. I've noticed it. Not. It didn't look there. Get him! Get him! No there we go. There we Great go. Great job, by, that was uh, Miller. Uh, Derek Legrand in there. Derek Legrand. Yeah. Solano. Solano. And sweet. Your main culprits, man. <laughs> Your main culprits. They're America's most wanted. Yeah. Uh, so man, we are we are almost at the end of the fourth or third quarter. No, no game. <laughs> but if you have hair issues, you might you can try your So 16 14, 40 seconds later in the third quarter. This is coming down to a I think it's gonna be a really play. good game. There's some motion. Drop back. Looking oh, at the pitch. Great. It's a late pitch. And they're, oh. they usher him right out of bounds. Who they might have got back that, to the line of scrimmage. That there. was great to see. Who hit him? I couldn't right. tell. Uh, was it Rock, uh, Brock? It might have been Mersh. Might have been Mersh. That could have been a very uh, dangerous play. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he got maybe a yard on that play, but Pioneer did a good job of stringing it out. I was wondering if he was going to get that pitch off, and but he did very at the last second. Well, knocking him out of bounds, that stopped the clock there. 26.9 on the clock. Left here in the third quarter. We should have an exciting fourth. Yeah. Hopefully the There's Pan a deep pitch again. Panthers. Oh, 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 there we go. Let's go. That's what we talking there about. There we go. Derek Legrand. Number 14, Derek Legrand, senior. He is a beast. Caleb Sweet in there at the bottom of the pile as well. Huge, huge, huge play by yeah. the Panthers. As you can see, I got Permagrin right now. That was, <laughs> yeah. that was such a that great was, play. That was nice. <laughs> <It's> very nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. So let's see. Pioneer just needs to handle the snap. They need to handle the snap. Give me that sign. Give me that sign. Oh, wow. So 22.1. Left in the third. Sweet. Wiping those hands. Let's drive this ball. Takes a snap. Hands off to Robinson. Cuts forward. And he didn't have anything He might have got a yard. Not much. Not much. And we're going to go to the fourth with a Pioneer lead 16 to 14. We'll be back here on RTC TV 4. Pioneer TV. It's a good quick rain, so. Yeah, I did. It just got cold off. Uh, I don't know my grass What's up, Bo? What's going on? I guess I don't know. My son does do that. I am. <laughs> Back here at the pit. Start the fourth quarter. Pioneer with the ball. 16 14 lead. Flip the script. Pioneer will be going the other way now. Not near as muddy that way, but it's still bad. I thought we were out the old uh, Heinz Pond. <laughs> Con, you mean? What are you no, talking? Justin's Pond. Oh, I got you. Okay. I saw him tonight. So, He's head to Florida. His last name's Heinz, right? Oh, right. Heinz Pond. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on, dude. Here we go. Sweet under center. Motion to – there you go. Hand Man, off a to, quick handoff. Hand off to Robinson, and he pounds forward. Might have picked up maybe three there. So Adam Barry be playing it safe right now. It's, he's, it's, just, it's, he's, it's, really, it's just really hard, you know, for Adam Barry to get too crazy on some plays because of that mud. You know, you 
don't want to do like a flea flicker or something. Well, just anything that's going to have them really cut hard. Oh yeah. Straightforward's the way you have to go. This is like battleship. Yeah. <laughs> this time they're going to hand off. He. No. Great job. Okay. Oh. Look at that Keep it going uh, again. He's moving forward when he gets tackled. Great job by Caden Hill. And he hasn't had the ball much tonight, and he showed he needs the ball. Yeah. I mean, those long strides, gazelle-like. Nice job, Caden Hill. Beautiful run. Don't be hating. Mm. This is Caden. <laughs> that was a beautiful run. 37-yard line. You know, you were talking about Logan. Um, like, how is it? You think in your mind to go from a, a running back to a tight end where you're mainly blocking. What's I mean, what? Caden Hill. That was, that was a little. Yeah, a little excessive, but Hill has to keep his emotions yeah, in definitely. check right now because you don't want to be pushed back 15. You just deal with it. And it could be something small, just a, a little jaw and. Yeah, these you never know with the referees you get 15 how, yards. how uh, short fuse they are. They look pretty tall out there. <laughs> Second nine to you, maybe. <laughs> Second nine. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm honey, I shuck the kids. <laughs> Sweet. He's going to keep it. Keep it He's keep, he just puts his head down and bangs forward. Picks up about three on the carry. So, again, Coach Adam Berry just – Keeping it going forward. You don't want to do too much. You know, um, Barry has done a great job at um, really coaching the players and mm -hmm. being being a mentor uh, yeah. as well. Just on their whole attitude in the game. Yeah. He's a good guy to look up to if you're a young man. Third and five for Pioneer. This is a big play here. Motion. Let's hill in motion. The hand there off to Brock. Robinson. He'll and take the first oh, down. Oh, 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 oh. Give me some number 10. Let's Give me go. some number 10. Give wow. me some number 10. Woo. <laughs> oh, Holy man. Jesus. Brock Robinson to the house. Let's go. That, that was the best play I've seen. Oh, wow. Hey, let's see let's this replay. Let's check it out. Roll that sweet foot. Great job by the line holding those blocks. And then Dang. the rest was Brock Robinson. That was all Brock. All Brock. The senior. Man, you kind of hurt my hand on that. I'm sorry about <laughs> ripping your, your hand off there. <laughs> We're going to show you this Maybe replay here are. in a second. Come on here. Keep your eyes peeled for number 10. What? Are they calling it back? For what? Damn, that must have been a big one. Uh, hey, can you show that replay? Yeah. Oh, here it is. Oh, can you read? Are they calling? Did they throw the flag on that? Are you serious? Well, I... When when he came back on that block? That's horrible. That wow. is horrible. That was a great. He came, he was in front of him? Wow. Unbelievable. I mean... That really negates a great oh, man. effort and, and run That's by Brock horrible. Robinson. Sorry, but that was not, not right. There you go and give it to Robinson again and says, Hey, let's do it. Oh now, there you now go. he now First he's down. Now First he's down ready. Panthers. Man. Boy that would tee off if I got that called back. It was a great block. That was just a he just turned around and made a made a great block there. I don't know what they. That, I think that's what we needed, though. Maybe. I mean, look maybe. At, look at that surgeon. Oh, it's got me fired up. That um, resurgence. All right, let's see what we have here. Pioneer, first and ten on the twenty-seven, <laughs> nine twenty-four. I got the ever-changing headset. <laughs> <laughs> the handoff again. Nope, it's going to be Caleb Sweet. He's going to slip through that tackle. What a run. Nice job, Caleb Sweet, picking up about seven on the carry. Nothing fancy, but man, he he can uh, I like go it. to I that like spot it. he needs to. I like that time. little option. Nice run by Caleb Sweet. Keep it rolling. I'm Keep still kind the clock of moving. I'm still kind of like what the heck on that, yeah, on I that don't, penalty. We saw the replay and that was that. I watched that ten times and well, you saw it once. Well, I, if I watched it ten times, <laughs> I'd still say that's not a penalty. 
Hand off to Robinson. Oh. Not anywhere to nope. go right there. They did a good job of cutting that off, getting guys in the hole, making that tackle on Robinson. I don't think they got anywhere on that So 8.20 here in the fourth. Pioneers still up 16 to 14. He's got 24 carries. Yeah, 18 in the first half. Yeah, I knew they were they were feeding him a lot. He's hungry. Yep. Feed him. This time he gets it again. He stays on his feet. He got up ended, but then came back down and I just, tried to get a couple more. I hope that they don't look at that uh, that penalty where they scored as yeah. a, a negative thing. I mean, it was initially, but they, we, they got to snap out of it and get this uh, that was a, that fall was a, over the end. Just a great all-around right run by Brock Robinson, man, negated. And what was a? I'm, I'm probably gonna watch that ten times. I'm gonna later. go home and watch it. I'll watch it on my phone before I go. Fourth and three. Fourth and three for Pioneer. Now here we go. There's a snap handoff. Nope. That's gonna be sweet. And he pounced forward. He got, he got it. it. He had to he get it. He got it. He got it. Yes, sir. He got it. He got it. Nice run by Caleb Sweet. Look at him his showing some flex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That a boy, Caleb Sweet. Well, I mean, you have a lineman running the ball now. Yeah. I mean, started off at tackle, went to tight end, now the quarterback, and it looks like he's found his mainstay. Good job, Pioneer. And Caleb Sweet, doing your thing. Let's punch that in the end zone. Just get Let's a, a little it. cushion right yeah. there. 713 left on the clock. Takes a snap. He's running nope, again. Sweet stays with it. Nice job right. by Caleb Sweet. <laughs> wow. Did he get it? That's really close. They're going to put him down just maybe at the one-yard line. That just – doesn't that make you, like, oh, man. smile? Oh, man, yeah. That <laughs> great was, run there by Sweet. That was Sweet. a great run. Let's, I'm, I'm telling you, we got to run that waggle right here. No. A little dump pass. No, don't pass. Let's just let's, you know, it's let's go like, bread and butter, baby. When he gets out there, like on that last play, there was no one out there. Give it to Robinson up the middle. Let's do it. Let's just finish it. I always try there to buck the system. Nope. Oh, man, nice cut. Nice cut. Touchdown, Panthers. Brock Robinson. He, is he gets retribution right man, there. I'll tell you what, just a sidestep and jump cut and yeah. into the end. Is that Barry Sanders? That's what I'm wanting to know. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was beautiful, wasn't it? Almost as good as the first one. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Not quite as good. I don't far, think anything could touch that, no, that Pioneer, was, that in Pioneer not. history. Oh, I'm going to say it. Jack Kaiser. Jack what, what, Kaiser. What Central, run? Central Catholic. His last year. Okay. You remember that? Fought it was like off. a 75 yard or no, something? No, it was like 36, but he juke, jived, ran over players, jumped. I mean, he was. I, I don't know. No, we got to go. You got to go back. I wish we could do it. a poll right now. What do you think? That run right there or the Jack Kaiser? No, Jack CC Kaiser all the way. I don't know. Two point conversion. Let's see. I'll put Caleb Sweet rolls out. I will put my money. And on did Brock he get Robinson. in? He he. He got yeah, in. Yeah, no, on. he's not. He did not get in, and that is. We are big. getting no love that on that. That is big. That's big. But one thing we have is a failure to communicate. You know, Judson. I don't know. This is this is going to be fun here. We got some muddy uh, uniforms oh, out there. Yeah, we do. 6.25 left. We'll take a break on RTC TV4. Pioneer Back here at the pit. It's a lot better when I have the mic close to my mouth and hear me maybe. 6.25, Pioneer ready to kick off to keep this fourth quarter moving. We got uh, Oscar Solano off again. Let's see if he can get one deep down there. I don't know with that mud out there. It's going to be – he might just squib it down. You know, I'm going to give a shout-out to uh, eight nope. friends that came from Lafayette. They have two foreign exchange students from uh, Germany and yep. the Netherlands. Nice run there. And they they just saw American football for the first time really? uh, a few weeks ago at a Purdue game that we all yeah. went to. So. Man, I'll tell you what, that, that run, that was a big hard run return. Yeah, that was a great return. Just straight up the middle. Barry's got the pace. Here we go. Pioneer defense looking to 
stand strong. This is what made Jays. their made their season this yes, year. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We knew it was going to be a close game, folks. We knew it. Two teams with the same record. Motion. Again, he went yeah. forward too early, but these don't care about that tonight. You can run Canadian football tonight. <laughs> I mean. Five-yard gain there. It's like a rolling stop. Yeah. Yeah. What? What's so funny? Again, motion, rolling stop. There's a handoff. I think, I think Pioneer's able to wrap him up quick. He might have got a yard on that play. I think she's so, cutting off my headset. Third and four. <laughs> Uh, because I didn't bring any gummy bears, probably. No. Oh yeah. Five twenty-six. Five. I say five twenty-six, and then I look, and then now it's five twenty. Clock moving. Panthers hey, up twenty-two no fourteen. This is a freaking. Yep. Third in. Barn five. Barn. Drop back. Oh, they're going to hand we'll off. Some room. And that'll be That's a first, first down. down. Yep. Great run there nice by, run I'm by sorry, Owen Frazier. Owen Frazier, okay. Frazier is a senior. He's a senior. <laughs> that one is. And they have Quentin Frazier as well. Maybe they aren't related. Maybe not. But. So yeah, North he's Judson a, he's a junior. Uh, is ready to uh, start their first set of downs. Panther crowd is, is getting into this game. Drop back to pass. Looking to throw. He unloads. Wide up. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, was that picked up? Did no, he catch it, that? No, nope, he, dro he dropped it. He dropped it. Um, Tyler Zellers right there. Yeah. Good job by the sophomore Tyler Zellers coming up with a big play there. On the Man, coverage. I thought that was, that was a pick, but. So he, they, he was getting tackled at Who have too. they been? Gluth has been the yeah. corner, right? Uh -huh. Okay, okay. They just did a little switcheroo. Yeah, I mean, Zellers deserves to play some, yeah. man. He he does his thing out there. And uh, he's done a great job. So Pioneer playing close to that line of scrimmage. Little motion, pitch back. Pioneer is able to take care of business there. Nice tackle. And he runs with authority. And... If somebody's in his way, he's putting his head down. He's going to, you know, battle ram him. A four-yard game. smell coming in. So third great, and six. This is a quickness. passing situation here. Comes in for Cody Legrand. Let's see if Schmel can get in there. I, I, I'm going to say he can right here. See if they want to attempt a pass here. Another one. It's third and one. I'm sorry. Uh, third and six. Motion. There's a handoff, and uh, oh man, they carry that pile for sure. Oh yeah, but that's going to be short of a first down. Where well, it depends on their spot. There. Yeah, where he's standing, he's definitely short by a yard. So fourth and one coming up here for Judson. You have to go for it with 409. I say put going. in put in the beef, like you know, Aiden Louse yeah. on the sidelines. Put him in there. Well, I guess they do have a pretty yeah, big front got, right got now. Got Legrand. Solano. And then Cody. Here we go. The other, yeah. Motion. The handoff. Oh, 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 let's go. Nice Pioneer stop. defense standing let's strong. Go. Who we got out there? Nice job. Look at Oscar that. Oscar Solano. <laughs> Oscar the Grouch doing it. Let's what a go. job. That was awesome. What a job by Pioneer. They're pumped. Oh, man. Good, good uh, momentum huge, shift. Huge stop. <laughs> One fan hollering, hang out under the ball, and that's that's great advice. Yeah. So you just eat this clock up and walk 3 out of here. Three forty-nine to go. Sweet takes they, a snap, looking to, hands off. They to have to be very Robinson, careful with that ball, and he's not going to go anywhere. Got right to the line of scrimmage and stopped. 
by I, Judson. I've been very impressed with the with the Judson defense. Um, you know, after that first series, they, they I got, mean, they, they, got a, they played well. They got some size up there too, man. Yeah, Brennan Benson, six four, three hundred. What yeah. are you doing out there, man? That kid is huge. Uh, what grade is he? Senior. Here we go. Second and ten for Pioneer. They just got some some Motion brute. to Mersh. Oh, Look at that counter. Hill. Hill puts his head down. Nice and job. Floor. They, uh, he moved that ball very well. Man, I love the way how that gets executed. Yeah. You, you can, well, from here up anyway, you can see yeah, that got a just go into motion. Yep. So third and two. You think if we get close enough, there'll be a field goal attempt? No. <laughs> Fourth down territory everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Pioneer comes to the line of scrimmage. Well, it's going to be almost deer season. They're letting that play clock go down pretty far. Deer season. we got some camouflage on the field. Yeah. There's another handoff to Hill. Oh, he's he's breaking it the outside. Cuts, cuts it in. in. First down, Panthers great, right there. Great field uh, awareness right oh, now. Oh, yeah, it was. It sure was. Caden Hill, thought I thought he was going outside. He, he saw just enough space to get and that first that, down. Yeah. Great, nice IQ. And, and just let the play develop. Yeah, great job by Pioneer. And... Well, that was just a nice run by Caden Hill. Great field vision. Found the gap and picked up a couple extra and got the first down. Yeah. Which that's how many timeouts do they have left? Do you know? Uh, they should have two left, I believe. I don't think they've taken one. Oh, they have two left. Yeah, they haven't taken. That was their first time out. Is so. it raining again? Yep, it's raining again. So we have a treat for you after the game. Stay around for that treat. <laughs> I was like, come on, when are you going to jump in? Rice Krispies? <laughs> no, it's a, a, sne a senior snack. <laughs> senior snack. There's your hint. Uh, the, the rain's... Yeah, it's coming down pretty good. I can't stand the rain. Some Pioneer. 219 now left in this game. Panthers with the ball. They just got to protect. But these are the kind of games that you do like. No, oh, yeah. As a player and just. A, a hard, oh, oh, uh, get on it. Get on it. There we go. Wow. They they have to <laughs> get this under wraps. Another timeout by Judson. We'll take one as well on RTC TV4. Pioneer TV. Back here, 212 left in the game, 22-14. Pioneer just really has to protect the ball and not not drop it on the snaps, man. I mean, it, that's that's going to give Judson chances. Yeah, um, especially with yeah, just a little over two minutes left. Yeah. I mean, there's still time for them to uh, come back and make this a game. It's time to hand off to Robinson, and he gets a couple on the carry. He was protecting that ball. <laughs> yes, he was. He had it covered up. Like in, uh, what, the, the program? <laughs> <laughs> so third and eight for Pioneer. It looks like we're going to have another timeout. timeout. This one's going to be Judson. Taking their third timeout. So they've used all their timeouts. <clears throat> I think for sectionals, I deserve a, a new headset. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll talk to that Steve works. Stricker. <laughs> I'm always leaving my case to Steve. I mean, why is that? Because he's in charge. Well, I'm saying. <laughs> Again, some other games that were going on tonight. Probably some of them have closed up. Rochester versus McConaughey. Tippecanoe Valley versus Southwood. Winnemac and Triton. Caston at Knox and Culver at LaVille. A lot of the, every one of those games are RTC coverage. Yeah, that's I, pretty cool, man. I saw that on the Full way up here. house of games here for RTC T4. So we got uh, third and eight. Third and eight. Third and eight. 22 14 Pioneer. Minute 53 left. I, I, I say Logan Smith is going to be instrumental in this play. 
the handoff to Hill. And He's short, short of the first down. Maybe by, what, three, four yards? This is, this is big. This is big. First of all, Judson can't come. <clears throat> oh, Pioneer's going to call time. Out, where we There's do? somebody hurt. Oh, come on. Ref stopped the clock due to an injury timeout. Ridiculous. That kid was where, laying there. Where'd they get he these jumped guys? right up. I don't know. So we're fourth down. So fourth down. This is a huge play for Pioneer. Do you punt? Do you punt it away? I mean, I mean you've got the lead. You give them, don't give them a chance to... I, what are we doing? I'm, I'm kind of torn. So a minute 41. So here we go. So play clock is Pioneer, running. Pioneer will probably call a timeout here. Yeah, They'll they let should. that play clock run down, the game clock run down. They'll call a timeout and get a little more time. And they probably could call two more timeouts if they want. <laughs> It's just timeouts all around. <laughs> so sweet. With about a minute left. <clears throat> I, I, I think they should punt here. I kind of do too. I really do. Dylan Odom's pacing Kinda, the yeah. sideline. Looks like he might be getting ready here. So a minute two on the clock to see where this one goes. Big because play for Pioneer. Big play for Judson out of this timeout. Because if they don't punt, then... You're putting them at what? The 48, yeah. maybe? Yeah, if you don't get those first down. <coughs> yeah. So you might as well punt. Move them back there. All right, I guess at the 40 yard line. But And if I'm Dylan Odom, I'm punting. I'm punting to the sideline. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not giving them a chance to return. You know, get them pinned back there if you can. And I mean, if they attempt to catch it, I mean, the conditions. Yeah. And a nice hit, break that up. So we're all up here. Strategizing. Yeah. <laughs> Strategy. <laughs> Trying to figure out what we're going to do. You got, you got Jason Seward over here. He's coached some football, so he, he he's up in here. Well, he was the, the quarterback captain. Quarterback. Yeah. But since uh, then, he's helped. What are they doing? I the think they're going for it. It looks like it. It looks like we're going for it. Man. All right, Adam Barry. Well, hey, he trusts his defense he, as he should. He trusts his defense, and he must trust the offense. Yep, let's see if Caleb Sweet just keeps his hand off. See what he does. Oh, maybe we're just trying to draw him off sides. There we go. Yep, that's pretty much what's going to happen. Timeout, Adam Barry. It's a good job. Good job by North Judson to yeah, be disciplined on that play, too. Yep. Yeah. So now Odom will probably come out and punt. But that didn't take any time off the clock. No, it doesn't. But it's a, it's a mind move, huh? Mm -hmm. You just go out there, try to get him to jump off sides. You pick up a first down because it's fourth and well, four. I, yeah, I get that part of it. But again, Judson does a great job of staying contained. Yeah, that's great discipline, mm -hmm. as you said. So the Panthers are going to come out, and they still, I still don't see Odom. Do you? Or no, no, I don't. No, he's not out there. No, he's right there. Well, I know. Okay. Maybe somebody else is going to punt or fake know. punt. I mean, this is this is interesting. Barry, are you, you going to give him the ball here if you don't? I mean, you can't. No, you. I mean, I don't know. All right. I don't know, but it's in the Buckle muddy, muddy belt, part of the folks. field. This is a big, yeah, this is a big play. They put a man in motion. And he <laughs> drops a ball. Fumble. Doesn't matter. It would be Doesn't Judson's matter. ball yep. anyways. And here we go. Judson gets the ball right here. This is a big, big turnover for Pioneer. You could have pushed is, him back at least This is 20, where the, men become the, or the boys become the men. Let's go, defense. Man. I'm so over this headset. Let's see what the defense has to offer. Defense Here we go. Always risen the black to and case. gold. So let's see if uh, we can keep, continue that trend. Boy, that receiver took off early. Here we go. Oh, that's got to be a hold. 
Turn around. Oh, Did he, he, catch he, that? he didn't catch it. He caught it. He caught it on the sideline. What is going? That had to be. It looked like that looked like a hold. But there we go. Judson picks up big yardage on that first play. Fifty-one point six left. Twenty-two fourteen Pioneer. <clears throat> I think a nice little blitz right here. Yeah, this this game. Drop back to pass. Here comes Pioneer. There's the ball. Yeah. And no call there. Good job, Logan Smith. Logan Smith was on him like stink on you know what. Yeah. Good job by Logan Smith to cover out there. So and, second and, and ten. He kind of came firing in there because um, that the receiver had a few steps on him. It looked like. Yeah, he did. Judson, Judson's doing a pretty good job of holding the line of scrimmage there yeah. too on that, giving him time giving to throw. Harper just enough time. Harper under center, and here we go, fake pitch. They're going to oh. run a screen play, and he that dropped the ball. Wow! And if, he, and if he caught it, he was going to get wait. Yeah, yeah he's wait late. Take it now, real quick. We had Pioneer defenders right there. So third trucking. and 10, 40.7 left on the clock. Judson with no timeouts. Pioneer up 22-14. This is it. Yeah. Well, they're going, they'll go for it on fourth but if they don't get this. But big time play here for the Great communication defense. skills by Sweet on, on the defense. Just, yep, he's um, making the play calls everybody out there know. linebacker. Here we go. Harper under center looking. Takes a snap, drops oh, back. Boy, he's got time, man. And he unloads. Good oh. job. Who was that out there? Was that Hill? Hill. Caden Hill got in the way of that receiver. That receiver is wide open. Yeah. Now they're bringing Different Schmel, one. fourth yeah. and ten. Boy, Cody this Le has Le been a great game. <laughs> Look at Cody Legrand's jersey. Yeah. Man. I can't. It's brown. <laughs> yeah. Gonna have to clean that up tonight. A little ti some tide sticks. <laughs> Here we go. Fourth and ten. They have risen to the occasion. The Judson. pioneer defense. Drop back. Oh, look oh. at the No throw out of bounds. Panther. <laughs> yeah. Cody Legrand, right there. I'm oh, sorry, Derek. Derek. Yeah, Derek. Um, let's go. That's a hard-earned victory by Pioneer. Nice job. That was. This has been a great game. This defense has stood strong. They made a great, great stop down here. Uh huh. And then now they hold strong after the fumble recovery by Judson. And yeah. <laughs> wow. A good point. You still got to snap the ball. Yeah. True that. <laughs> Hasn't looked good. I just throw it back there. And just let. It, Four guys go back here and jump on it. Who cares? Would you? Would you now? <laughs> 28.2. Panthers, all they need to do is nil her down. On senior night. Takes a snap. He's got control. There it Look is. Look at that control on the snap. Let's Panthers, go. Big time win. Great game. Great game. You know, uh, that that's going to... That gives Judson a loss in the tournament, or in the tournament, in the conference right now. Yep. Hey, we'll take a break and be back here on RTC TV4. Back here at Pioneer where the Panthers get the 22-14 victory over the North Judson Blue Jays. Coach Adam Barry, you want to give him your headset? Or he's gonna, oh, yeah. yeah that's, a, that's a good idea. <laughs> Coach Barry, man, what a great win there. And the first quarter, 16 to nothing. Looks like we're going to do all right and just kind of – Cruise to a victory almost, but we knew, you knew, Judson's a good team. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I can hear you now. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, you know, we knew Judson was a good team. They come in here 5-0 and in the conference, 6-2, and the same record. That first quarter, 16 to nothing, you guys. And then they just started to, uh, you know, they started to move the ball a little bit and, they got some momentum there late in the first half, and the second half was a kind of a totally different ball game, really. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, we, we always these. talk about um, coming out and having fast starts. Um, you know, we could not have asked for a better opening drive. You yeah. Know, it wasn't obviously a quick hitting drive. I'm not sure exactly how many, how many plays it was, but, you know, we got our four, five, six yards against an awesome defense. And, um, you know, we, we did what we had to do. We come out then defensively and play with our hair on fire. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, uh, we were able to show our um, breakaway speed with Bo. Yeah. You know, it was honestly kind of hard. I don't know if he just made some people miss, but he actually got outside on a little counter play, and, you know, he showed his top end speed. And so, obviously, huge momentum swings. Getting those two first, or getting those first two two point conversions is also huge because yeah. you know they they typically they typically go kick extra points. Mm -hmm. And so you know that also just puts a little extra pressure on them. You know, gives us another opportunity to kind of try to stop them. And um, you know, they had a heck of a throw on that fourth and nine. Yeah. We looked like we had great coverage from the sidelines. To be honest, I thought he overthrew him a little bit, but, you know, he put it right where it needed to be to uh, their best player, and, you know, he made a play when we ha when he had to. Um, you know, then we get him third and long, and they get a jump ball, um, you know, and have a ton of respect for their coach, their staff, their program. And, um, you know, I love playing this team week nine to end the regular season because – really shows where we are heading yeah. in the tournament and um you know overall best team win we've had you know you've got what seven seniors here seven seven seniors and um each one of them brings something to the table and they, they play they actually play the game they're not staying on the sidelines they're getting in there they're actually playing just talk a little bit about the seniors real quick you're right and you know as freshmen um none of them got significant playing yeah. time um but you know they were they were, had an awesome jv season you know as freshmen i think they even went over to mccutcheon and mm -hmm. won um i think they played on four or five field turfs that year yeah and you know we, we were excited to see them come through the program and um you know logan smith we've been bouncing him around yeah. and uh you know just been awesome for a program awesome tight end and uh you know leader on the defense bo mersh you know, he solidified himself as a starter offensively and defensively here yeah. as a senior. And, you know, he just has that playmaker um, mentality. And, you know, we feel confident every time he touches the ball. Then Brock Robinson, you know, <laughs> he was behind uh, some pretty good runners. Yeah, as freshman exactly. and sophomore behind, uh, you know, Jack, Danny, um, the Twins, his first two years. And so uh, it was awesome to see uh, – first three years, I guess, the Twins. Yeah. You know, he really showed what he could do at fullback last year, and, um, you know, he's finally starting to get full strength here. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he was our workhorse tonight. And yes, he was. He just makes that one subtle cut and goes. Um, then Derek LeGrand, you know, since he's been a sophomore, he's just been flying to the ball on the defense side. Um, you know, I don't know if we keep career for tackles for loss, but, you know, he's probably uh, up there. Yeah. He's top ten in a lot of ca categories and, you know, just someone. We're going to miss after the season, but, uh, you know, we're excited to see what he can do come sectional time. Yep. You know, Dylan Odom, um, you know, hasn't played since junior high, had him in PE class, and uh, said, you know what, you need to come back out and play football. <laughs> and uh, talk about um, coming through, you know, he, he gets one play, one mm -hmm. play of the game. Yep. He jumps up, grabs the ball, yes. has pressure in his face, and had a heck of a punt. Yes, he did. And, you know, he just has that perfect mentality as a kicker. He's, he, he's going to go out. He's going to do his he's job. got a little swag to him. And then he? he's going to come over to the sideline and be the biggest cheerleader yeah. and, uh, yeah. you know, root everyone else on. So just a perfect person to have a uh, part of your program. You know, Aiden now uh, been starting center last two years, you know, hasn't had the start of the year that he wanted to, but he hasn't let that affect him. And, um, you know, he's that typical lead by example. Mm -hmm. You know, he goes out, plays hard. Um, he's probably top five in Pioneer history of weights attendance yep. in the off season. Uh, you know, it's it's paid off for him. Then Uncle O, Oscar Solano, <laughs> you know, Uncle O, there we yeah, go. He just he talk. We don't have a lot of size, but you know, he is mm -hmm. our size. He yep. is just a large human, and uh, <laughs> just offensively, defensively, just plays with motor. You know, he comes out, and we ask him to toe bash a kickoff, and uh, you never know where it's going to go. But a lot of times, he boots it. So. Uh, yep. You know, these seven seniors are um, going to be missed, but excited to see what we can do come tournament time.
Speaking of tournament, you got Wabash. The Wabash Apaches come over here, and they're going to have a great time on this field <laughs> because they play on turf. Yeah. They've got a beautiful turf field, and they're going to come over here and not know what hit them with the, with the, tur- with the grass and the you're, mud. And, you're right. And, you know, looking at the extended forecast, it looks like we might have a couple more. There we go. And, uh, Just get it, you know, it's, make it a it, real pit. Uh, you know, we we get the we get the name on us, you know. The oh pit, yeah. But uh, yeah. You know, we're we're excited to see him. You know, we've never played wall bash. We don't know a lot about him, but excited to get their film and uh, start preparing. I'm excited for that game because that's where I'm living, and <laughs> I get to talk a little smack, there you, you know, go. to some of there the baseball go. guys over there. So hey, Adam, good job, hey, congratulations. For What's us. this do for the conference with the five and with Winnemac? Can I mean, are we second place? Or are I'm, we tied for a second? What's on, the deal? Honestly, not sure. Um, I believe uh, last year in the fall winter they, you know, said no conference. But um, I believe um, in the spring they actually um, came and okay. turned around and gave us the conference championship, even right. though we didn't play a full conference set schedule. Yep. So, you know, it's out of our hands. Yeah. Um, you know, Winnemac beat us. Yep. And, uh, you know, nothing we could do about it. No. So, uh, you know, we – Went off on a high note, regular season. We'll let the ADs, principals, whoever Figure uh, it out. take care of that, yep. and we'll get ready for sectionals. All right, man. Hey, congratulations Thanks, again. Sir. Have a great night. Thank Go you. down there and talk to 103.7. All right, we're going to get in some of the – get these seniors in here. Throw that out here. Yeah, so uh, we're going to interview the seniors. I don't think it's ever been done before. Um we got Logan Smith that was a tear on defense tonight. And um, I can't I, hear anything. <laughs> it cut out. Okay. <laughs> Has been a tear on defense tonight. And, um, you know, we're just going to ask some random questions for you. I know okay. you like my jokes, I tell you. But um, what do you think is the has been the biggest impact on you? First, uh, uh, Mom. as a team or just for me? Oh, for you. Um. I don't know. Weight room. Uh, me and a couple other seniors hit pretty hard over the summer, so I think that played a major part. Okay. Um, and who is the funniest person on your team? That's a tough one. It might be Bo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, hope, I hope you're right because I got some jokes for him. Okay. Hey, thanks for meeting with us. We're yeah. kind of make this uh, Am I good? a little short. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> Nice guy, man. Thanks. Logan Smith. We got next coming up is number three, Bo Mersh. Bo, uh, I was just talking to you out in the waiting area, so to speak, and you've turned it on these last three to four games, uh, given the opportunity, and, and you've just excelled. Like tonight, that uh, the run that you had, it was like an airplane taking off. Um, what were you thinking during that, that whole run? Um, I was just looking at this guy in my corner. I was just giving it all I had. I was just whole run. <laughs> That's all. I was, I was just giving it my all. Yeah, and it definitely shows. Um, who is the most uh, on your team or the seniors um, that you think has really outshined even their own expectations? Uh, all of you? Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Honestly, everyone. So, uh, Logan said that you're the most funniest, or most funny on the team. Yeah. Tell me a joke. Oh, <laughs> uh, you can't? <laughs> okay. Well, uh, maybe some other time, but. <laughs> hey, great game tonight, Bo, and keep it up. Um, first round of sectionals next week. Yeah, yep. excited. All right. Good. Yep. You can jump in any time, man. This, this, uh, I wanted to talk to him. And then, so, um, Derek Legrand, can you hear? Yeah, it's getting a little, like, it's yeah, kind of You kind of got to hold the cord okay. sometimes. Um, great game every week. Um, you're, you're probably the first person that John and I say in on a tackle. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you attribute to your success on just getting in there and being at the at the brunt of the play every time? Um, I think the main part about it is just going hard all week during practice and just really working toward 
what you know you have to work toward on Friday nights. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just getting there, being quick off the ball. Um, you've, you've impressed a lot of people, not just, um, you know, the people calling the games, but, I mean, statewide, nationwide, on just your tenacity and how you just go after every play, every time. And uh, as fans and commentary, we appreciate it uh, very much. Um if you, okay, would you rather have hamburgers the rest of your life, that's all you could eat, or ice cream? Uh, hamburgers by far. I was hoping you were going to say that. <laughs> they're just, they're more meaty. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, great, great game, great Thank season, you. great career, and uh, we look forward to watching you next week. Yes, sir. All right? Yep. Thanks, Derek. Yep, you have a good one. Here he is. This is my boy right here, Oscar. Big. I call him Oscar the Rouch. I don't know. He called you Uncle O. At, yeah. uh, Coach Barry calls you Uncle O. Man, I've watched you since you were, you know, young. You know, going out there, playing as a junior high player, and now you're a senior, six one, two twenty, just a beast. Look at this guy, man. Um, you know, you've gotten bigger and stronger, and you just cause havoc on that defensive line and. Man, tell me one of your biggest accomplishments as playing Pioneer football. Um, I've played since I was eight mm -hmm. and just keeping at it and working hard. I practice and off season, it's really helped me a lot. Yeah, and you guys, you guys have had a great season. You know, you lost your first two, but you know you had injuries, you had COVID dealing with. But I mean, you guys have ran it, and then next week you're at you're here. On this beautiful field, <laughs> playing uh, the Wabash Apaches, and I told Coach Barry they have a beautiful, beautiful turf field over there. Yeah, great big scoreboard. I, I live there, and uh, so they're going to come. Up, I've been talking a little stuff to them, and they're going to come over here and say, "What are we playing on?" You know, if it keeps raining, it's this is going to be a mess next Friday night, and I mean, it's going to it's going to be for you guys, man. You guys are used to this stuff. Yeah. you know what you're where you're cutting you know where the holes are at out there man so uh, hey great season thank you great career so far keep it going oscar solano good job you got brock robinson coming <laughs> this guy man brock robinson playing fullback his whole career until this year and then uh, coach barry puts you at quarterback um just explain what that switch you know, in your mindset, what are you thinking? He said, hey, you're going to be quarterback. <laughs> well, uh, obviously, the first few weeks we had trouble, and mm -hmm. we had trouble getting snaps. So we switched to shotgun because a little bit easier. And uh, he wanted uh, me to get a lot of carries the first few weeks. Mm -hmm. So he put me at quarterback because um, Caden was also hurt that week. Yep. And uh, obviously, we weren't really looking at Sweet that week either. No. We didn't uh, look at him at quarterback until week seven. So, yeah, and then so week seven comes along. Yeah, <laughs> Barry's wheels are turning. Decides, hey, you're gonna go back to fullback. We're gonna bring a lineman and a tight end, for, and then tight end, and then he's gonna progress to quarterback. We're gonna put Caleb Sweet back there in the backfield. Let him run the show. Put you back there at fullback again, where you've where you can see your cuts, mm -hmm. see where you're, you have great field vision anyways. So now you can kind of look over everything on defense and know where you want to go. And, uh, man, it's paid off, man, putting yeah. Sweet at quarterback, letting you run the ball. Tonight, man, you got, I don't know how many carries tonight, but you are the workhorse. And it's been fun to watch you. And I can't wait till next week when we play Wabash over here and uh, take care of business and keep rolling, man. Good job. Congratulations Thanks. on a great career, Brock. Thank you. Excellent job. Uh, let's see. Who we got left? Dylan Odom. Have Odom. Oh, Aiden? All right. You going to interview him? Oh, yeah. So we got Aiden Lau here, the, the anchor of the offense um, at center, and uh, he's been – to start dinner for two years now, um, so I mean, let's cut to the cut to the chase on you know some issues that you've had. Not you, I'm just saying the team. You know, with snaps and so forth. Um, tonight uh, was it weather related or? Uh, yeah, tonight was all 
pretty much weather related, and the the rest have put the ball in all the wet spots sometimes. But okay. Uh, other than that, it was, it was pretty good for the most part. Yeah, um, Aiden, um, you have actually got to play some defense this year, which is some new territory for you, and you've done a really good job. Um, and I know you take the the weights very seriously in the in the off season. Um, what do you like about defense? Uh, my favorite part on defense is probably just pushing the people back. Like on offense, you're assigned like a certain guy and you have to get him. Well, not technically, but on defense, you just go out there, play, push him back. And if you get lucky enough to get the tackle, you get lucky enough to get the tackle. Okay. Um, well, you're you're my favorite player that's on the on the your team. My son, and I'm very proud of you. You've done a great job. Thank you. Um, I think John wants to ask you one question, then we'll get Dylan. Okay. Yeah, how do you deal with your dad? No, I didn't. <laughs> no, seriously, man. Aiden, man, it's been awesome watching you progress as a ball player, man. Of course, you know, I knew you when you were born and everything. So, But, man, it's uh, it's been fun. And, uh, you know, on offense, he talked about defense, what you like about defense on offense. Coach Adam Berry talked about, you know, just your strength alone, you know, hitting the weight room, being one of the most committed players on the Pioneer team in the weight room for – you know, for four years now, and um, what what motivates you to get in the weight room and just push, man? What uh, what motivates you? I think just getting better every day and knowing that there's always somebody out there that's going to be better than you. So mm -hmm. you have to push to be to get better and better to beat them and be the best person. It's a great answer, man. Hey, congratulations on a great career, great season, and uh, let's get the Apaches next week. <laughs> yeah. So who we got next? Dylan Odom. So Dylan Odom, senior. Yep. So Dylan, you, yeah. You, so you come out after you know play junior high football. Come back out. Sounds like Coach Barry talked you into coming back out one more time. Come out your senior year, and I've watched you warm up, not just kicking, but throwing the ball a little bit man you, you've got a good little arm on man <laughs> you look all right but you know you're a natural athlete you do other things you swim i know and um so what made you want to come out one more year and finish off your senior year now well when i did quit in junior high honestly in my own opinion i thought it was a mistake i truly did miss it and mm -hmm. come senior year i was you know this is really my last year i can hop in and yeah. join back in on the fun so I didn't really hesitate. It was kind of an easy decision for me. There you so. go. Good job. And you made a great – you might have made a play over here, jumping up, making that uh, grab at the snap, and you were cool, calm, collected, got rid of it, put us in back here in their own – I mean, that, that was a nice play. One play. You got on one time, and you made the most of it. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. And tell you what. I mean, you're a pretty cool kid for who your dad is. I know that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hey, congratulations. Good job. We'll uh, see you next. Oh, yeah, Adam had one more question. One more. What do you got? So, uh, Dylan, you've been a pleasure to watch uh, this season. Uh, somebody new to the team and so forth. Um, what's been, I guess, your most in on the I think my biggest uh, – take away with uh, the teamwork and the um, how close the the team is to each camaraderie other camaraderie or yeah, okay. the, the, yeah. When I came in I mean everyone was just almost like you see brothers fighting yeah. brothers and brothers getting along brothers just having a good time and and it's it has been an honor you know playing with these playing with these guys I mean you know I couldn't wish for anything else dang I, I feel like we're in the NFL but um so you did up singing the national anthem. Um, what's your go-to song to to sing? Um, my go-to song would have to be uh, "Somebody's Problem" by Morgan. I think that's my my go-to. Because you met him. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, Dylan, again, um, it's been a been a pleasure watching this year and and grow. And you had a great play tonight, uh, just getting that punt off. So. Um, Get ramped up. I uh, got the Apaches next week, and uh, we look forward to the game.
And we're all excited. We're ready all to right. go. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you. Yep. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, you know, Pioneer with a 22-14 win here. Big win against North Judson. And next week, take on the Wabash Apaches, a team that has not won a whole lot of games this year. Mm -hmm. But they're but they're going to be a different element of yeah, the team it, it, because they come out and they do throw the ball a little bit. They've got some talent, but they just haven't got to that mark where – they're ready to really progress. They've got a decent coach in um, Adam Hanley, but um, you know they're a they're a team that will come over here and fight. But you know it's a the game on paper. The weather and the field Pioneer. conditions are, are going to be. Oh yeah, it, that's going to play a huge factor. I love John Bingaman out there trying to. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. I, I really don't know what he's doing. Yeah, out there. <laughs> you can't do is anything. He, is he trying to fill mull or? What's he doing, Divots? I, I don't know what he's doing, but that's awesome. Yeah, I don't know, but hey, we're gonna call it a night, yeah. man. Good Great. game for Pioneer, big win here at the pit. So make sure you join us next week against um, the Wabash Apaches. Seven John and I will be kickoff. back. Kickoff, we'll be back. We'll be ready to roll. All right. Sectional starts. So from at for Adam, myself, Madison. And who did our camera work? What was his name? He did He did a good job, actually. He did, yeah, he was did. That? Cameron, I think. Cameron. He, he did a good job. And also a reminder that Pioneer, we will be RTC TV4, Pioneer TV will be over at the sectional semifinal at Southwood tomorrow. I believe at 1230 will be the start of that match. So make sure you tune in, cheer on the Lady Panthers for a quest for another state championship. Let's go. So, <laughs> so we'll go ahead and sign out. RTC TV4, Pioneer TV, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. <laughs>